Okay, so this is a quick video on how to make colloidal copper at home using a coffee maker. Uh, there's a lot of videos about this, but they use bain-maries or setups with batteries and charges and stuff, and it's a little complicated. So this is how I do it. You're going to take a parts per million meter, which you can get on Amazon for about 10 or 11 bucks. You're going to need uh, some copper wire, uh, some... Uh, copper stri or wire strippers and a mason jar with some distilled water and of course a coffee maker. What you're going to do is you're going to take your parts per million meter, uh, pour about uh, 10 ounces of water into a clean mason jar, test the water. This water here has one part per million of something in it, we're not sure what, but just make a note of that. Later on you'll subtract that from the total. Uh, you're going to your copper wire. This is about three and a half grams of copper wire. Uh, just make sure that that's submerged. Once it is submerged, then you're going to retest to make sure there was no contaminants on the wire itself. Okay, this is at point one, so this is all good to go. And you're going to take your mason jar with the copper wire and move it to a coffee maker. And you're going to leave this on for four to six hours and test it. Uh, maybe you want to test it every hour to see how it's, how it's going. And what you're looking for is about uh, a minimum of 10 parts per million, but this will get up to about 100 to 120 parts per million which would give you enough solution to last you a long time because you're going to dilute this to 10 parts per million. Uh, there's all kinds of benefits. You can read about those. I'm uh, going to be using it for anti-inflammation and some things like that to work on my back. So uh, super simple, cost like a dollar, and uh, you, know, you can save yourself about 20 or 30 bucks on colloidal copper. So I hope this helps and uh, have a nice day.